Rush Limbaugh used to say that liberalism was a religion and that their sacrament was abortion. Rush Limbaugh also said that women shouldn't be allowed to serve on juries if the defendant was an attractive man, because Rush Limbaugh was a profoundly stupid, racist, and sexist man. When I read that, I immediately started thinking about um, Molech and Baal, same demon, same god. Molech is not a god at all. Molech is just a generic Semitic noun that means offering. They required child sacrifice. That was what that... That's what the people did to serve these gods. So Adonai, the God of Israel, also demanded child sacrifice, at least if the texts of the Bible are to be taken seriously. Uh, Exodus 22:29, it's verse 28 in the Hebrew, demands uh, firstborn children be sacrificed. Now, later authors and editors added a requirement that they be redeemed, but that's nowhere to be found in the Covenant Code's discussion of child sacrifice. And we have other authors like Ezekiel in Ezekiel 20, verses 25 and 26, acknowledging that God gave wicked commandments to Israel in order to weaken their population and basically to show them who was boss. Our country has been under a curse since Roe versus Wade. Yeah, no, it hasn't. Um, and the majority of evangelicals supported Roe v. Wade when it first came out. Uh, and then Jerry Falwell and Weirich and others who ran racist Christian universities got upset that the government was forcing them to integrate and decided they needed to gin up a religious right so they could restructure government power. Uh, they knew that white supremacy would not be a very effective rally cry, so they decided they were going to take up uh, opposition to abortion and turn that into an identity marker. And so evangelical opposition to abortion has always been fundamentally a tool of white supremacy. I truly believe that when this goes through, that that curse of that blood sacrifice of children will be broken. So the data pretty securely demonstrate that criminalizing abortion does not appreciably reduce rates of abortion, it just reduces access to safe abortion, meaning the biggest change that will result from this ruling will be that a lot more women seeking abortion who are minority and underprivileged will die.